It seems that Anne Katz failed to understand my last video about the Congo Free State, which was the private property of King Leopold II of Belgium. Let's go over the facts again. The Congo Free State is recognized as the private property of Leopold II at the Berlin Conference. The Belgium state has nothing to do with the Congo till 1908. Leopold hires armed private thugs to enforce his rule over the property. His terror was enforced by private mercenaries. Profits of the colony went into Leopold's personal bank account, not into the coffers of the state of Belgium. I also argued that this kind of brutal dictatorship would be the end result of anarcho-capitalism, and the so-called non-aggression principle is a load of absolute rubbish. Now, I explained the first three points in my first video, so I will just focus on the last two points. In an anarcho-capitalist society, the person who owns the greatest amount of wealth would be able to enforce his rule over everyone else. Say if a single capitalist can afford a private army of 20 mercenaries, or the other smaller landlords can't afford to hire any. What stops the capitalist who owns the private army from seizing the land in and enslaving the other smaller landlords and their families. Absolutely nothing. No one is enforcing a so-called non-aggression principle. Come to think of it, what would stop the 20 mercenaries from murdering the individual who hired them in the first place? The non-aggression principle that no one enforces? Don't make me laugh. I can't believe that people actually believe in such rubbish. The fact is that an ANCAP society would result in the brutal dictatorship of the individual that can afford the largest private army. No one is going to obey a magical non-aggression principle. If someone has the power to take the land and there is no state restraining them, they will just take it. No, nothing's stopping them. Like I said in my first video, ANCAP should look at the Congo Free State and reconsider their ideology.